Good Monday morning to you. Hope everything's going okay. It's August 2nd, 2021. I'm doing episode guide, baseball Hall of Famers, focusing on pitching, pitchers who are in the Hall of Fame. Episode 204, focus on Vic Willis. He made the Hall of Fame, old school, 1898. 1910, only 13 years, yet in 13 years, he accumulated 249 victories, 205 losses, 54% winning percentage, 471 games started, 388 completed, Excellent. That means only about 90 games in his career he did not finish. 50 shutouts. I like that. Again, my criteria for me for pitching. 300 wins. Between 2 and 3 ERA. Vic Willis, 2.63. Games. 500 started. Complete games, I like to see 200, at least 200 complete. Shutouts, I like to see over 50. Innings, I like to see over 3,000 innings. Vic Willis, 3,996. And then strikeouts, I like to see over 3,000 strikeouts. He only had 1,651. Let's look at Vic Willis' career. Boston. Beaners. That was the name of the team. 1898. Then he played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. A little bit of the St. Louis toward the end of his career. He starts off 22 years old, 25 and 13. How about that? 311 innings. Next year, 27 and 8. Good start. Next year, 10 and 17. Next year, 20 and 17. 1902, 27 and 20. So four out of the first five years, 20 or more victories. Then he goes 12 and 18, 18 and 25, 12 and 29. See, he's in the game, so he's getting the decision. So when you have 25 losses or 29 losses, that means he just he stuck around for eight or nine innings. And if the team couldn't rally, he would lose the game. That's why the losses piled up back back then for old school pitchers. And the same can be said on winning games. If you're there toward the end, you're going to get the decision. Today's pitchers are not getting decisions. A lot of no decisions. I don't like that. Either you win it or you lose it. Stick around. 1906, 23 and 13. Then he goes 21 and 11, 23 and 11, 22 and 11. So he has eight 20 win seasons. Vic Willis deserves the Hall of Fame. And last year, 9 and 12. So these old school pitchers, I admire them for their durability, consistency, and for staying in the game. They didn't have relief pitchers back then? I don't know what the philosophy was of the managers. All right, another Hall of Famer, old school. Red Faber is next. Thanks for watching. I'm out.